a man weighing 712 newtons stands in a boat so that he is 4.5 meters from a pier on the shore as shown in figure he walks 2.4 meters in the boat towards the pier and then stops how far from the pier will be at the end of this time the boat weighs 890 newtons and there is assumed to be no friction between the boat and water here in the given figure you will be able to observe that from the pier nothing but uh, uh, from the uh, shore so the man is at a distance of 4.5 meters and he is walking towards the pier and the distance covered by the man is 2.4 meters okay so if the boat is not moving so then directly we can mention that the distance uh, of the man from the pier that is current position is 4.5 minus 2.4 but the boat is having velocity and the man is also moving with certain velocity so for that we need to apply law of conservation of momentum so let us write the given data first so let us consider the weight of the man as uh, w1 so weight of man weight of man considered as w1 712 newtons and weight of boat also given weight of boat consider it with suffix 2 so w2 is equal to 890 newtons and the velocity of the man is not given to use law of conservation of momentum but we will use so according to law of conservation of momentum initial momentum is equal to final momentum right so initial momentum when we consider initial momentum there will be initial momentum for the man only the boat is not having any initial momentum when we consider final momentum the man as well as the boat is having a final momentum so let us consider that initial momentum is equal to final momentum So W1 V1 plus uh, the initial momentum of boat is zero, so no need to consider that. So is equal to final momentum. So final momentum is so these two combined together into velocity of boat. Consider this one as V2. Here uh, I have considered the initial momentum of boat as zero. Why? Because there is no initial momentum for that. And next. And here I have directly considered in terms of weights. Okay, W equal to mg. So gg gets cancelled on both the sides. So for that reason, I have uh, written directly here W1 and uh, W1 plus W2. Okay, so weight of uh, uh, from this uh, we will find the relation for, uh, for V2 first. V2 is equal to W1 V1. Divided by W1 plus W2. So this is the velocity of boat. So let us find the distance covered by boat. So distance covered by boat consider it as S2. Here all the terms associated with the 2 will denote that will be associated with boat. And with suffix 1 that will be associated with man. So S2 is equal to so velocity of the boat multiplied by time. So velocity of the boat is nothing but W1 V1 divided by W1 plus W2 into T. Just I have substituted this relation here and uh, velocity uh, of uh, man. So that is not given but the distance covered by man is given. So what is the relation between velocity and distance? So velocity is equal to distance divided by time, right? So velocity V1 is equal to distance covered by man is 2.4. So 2.4 divided by T. So this is the relation for V1. So just I will substitute here. So which is uh, W1. Uh, instead of W1, just I will substitute the value. 712 into 2.4 uh, divided by T by 712 plus 890 into t so simplify this one 
you will get 1.067 meters here if you observe the man is moving towards the pier in this direction and the boat is moving in the opposite direction when the man uh, runs in this direction with the help of a feet he is able to uh, uh, create some motion for the boat so in the opposite direction then the boat is going to move in this direction let us consider uh, let, we have considered that distance as s2 right so we have calculated also that distance 1.07 it is asked ask it to mention the current position of man from the pier from the show so what is the current position of man so that is nothing but position of man from the pier is nothing but 4.5 plus the boat is at a distance of initially 4. Point, the man is at a distance of initially 4.5 and uh, the boat moved to a distance of s2 so plus s2 and the man is approaching the pier in this direction and uh, that to a distance of minus uh, that to a distance of 2.4 so subtract that minus 2.4 so that is equal to 4.5 plus s2 we got that one as 1.067 meters minus 2.4 so which will be equal to 3.167 meters so this is the current position of man with respect to the pier from the pier so here as the man is moving in the left hand side direction the boat is moving in the right hand side direction to a distance of s2 for that reason uh, for that reason only we need to add these two values and you have to subtract 2.4 uh, from that if boat is not moving then directly we can mention that 4.5 minus 2.4 that is a distance but here the boat is moving so you have to observe that Hope you understand this problem. If you are able to understand, then click on like button. And for more videos, do subscribe my channel. Thank you for watching.